Hello, everyone. Welcome to Company Funding 101 Class 13. Today, we're going to go over research and analysis of the market. So we have to understand the definition and importance of the market research. So it is a systemic gathering, recording, and analysis of the qualitative and quantitative data and issues relating to the, your product and services. So it is quite crucial for you to understand the market trends, the preferences from the customers, and what your competitors are doing. Also, it exists entrepreneurs, startups to identify opportunities and to minimize the risks and make better decisions. So the process of the market research is the five-step model. The first step begins with identifying the problem or question. Then we create a research plan detailing the type of data needed, sources and research methodology. The third step involves data collection, four-step data analysis. Then we visualize our results and come up with the conclusion of the research. So first step is identifying the target market. And you gotta paint a picture of your customer. And this is crucial in your marketing as well. So there are various factors, for example, like age, location, income, lifestyle, and so on. So by following this, if the segments align with your product and service, then it's chosen a target market. I'll take this as a simplest example. There are a lot of fashion brands like Supreme and Bape, which target toward young people. They don't really do much marketing towards older people because that's not their demographic. So there are companies that only focuses on those, you know, older people's fashion, clothing and stuff like that. This is because their target markets are different. So once we establish that, the next step is to identify the customer segments. So it's based on specific needs, preferences, or behaviors of different customer groups. So recognizing these customer segments, we can customize our product offerings and marketing messages. So this can be different on a lot of levels. And for example, if we're targeting towards you know, female fashion brands and who people who are working as a farmer on a farm, then it's a different than you know a male farmer and doing the customer segmentation of that. And because we want to increase the customer satisfaction and increase the market share in that specific market. So now we go into market analysis and we have to understand the definition and importance of that as well. So it involves a thorough study of the marketing dynamics. So it helps you understand the size, growth rate, and trends, also the competition as well. So this was what's different. So it is in assessing the potential for product and service in the market. So it provides you with the necessary strategy and plan out how do you avoid those risks. So analyzing market trends is important because it's key to stay ahead of the curve. It involves studying the market size and growth rate, shift in behaviors and advancements. So staying updated with market trends can help us to adapt changes and capitalize on opportunities. So the competitor analysis is an assessment of strength and weaknesses of current and potential investors. So it provides both an offensive and defensive strategic context to identify opportunities and threats which includes reviewing their product range, market share, pricing strategy, market efforts, da, 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 and so on. So understanding competitive strategies can help us differentiate our offerings and carve a unique position. So we want to analyze our customer preference. How do we do that? So you have to understand what do they actually need and what are some of their expectations. So you have to study their buying behavior and attitudes towards different brands and what's working well, what's not working well, and how they are changing their preferences as well. So this is critical for developing, you know, customer-centric products. And now you need to develop market penetration strategies. So it's aimed to increase sales of existing products in existing markets. So this could be achieved through competitive pricing, aggressive marketing, and sales promotions 
we improve product quality. So it's less risky because they leverage what companies are already doing, but like just trying to do it better. So it's way less ris risky than you know changing a whole product and renovating something. To develop market growth strategy, mostly focused on expanding the company's footprint by entering new market. This could involve like diversification of your product services, you know, horizontal expansion, vertical expansion, you know, or targeting new customer segments. These strategy might carry a higher risk because, you know, new markets you're not really familiar with it, but their potential is so much higher because you're just opening a new door to everything. So based on our research analysis, we have to form adapt strategies. So we have those conclusions that we got from you know market research analysis. So it might be you know tweaking the product pricing and stuff like that, or like every decision should be backed up by the data, because data gives you the best methods to make decisions. Data doesn't lie. And again, the common mistake and how to avoid them. And include like include reliance on secondary data and poorly defined target audience. You've got to be really specific. And you have all got to do frequent market research researches. And it's important to conduct primary research and not just trust some random sources and define your target audience. And also stay updated to the dynamics. So believe you can be successful and thank you so much for listening. See you next class.